Hello everybody, this is Julie from designsbyjuju.com and in this video I would like to show you how to find, download, and install your Embrilliance software, the Express version, onto your computer so that you can use our BX fonts, type them out, save your uh, monogram or words um, or phrases, and get straight to stitching them out. Um, the first thing you will want to do is go to www.embrilliance.com and this is their homepage. I would like to start this series of videos that I'm about to do by saying that I highly recommend Embrilliance Essentials software. This has got to be, um, aside from being able to type out your fonts, this is one of the most user-friendly, um, complete software editing programs I have come across and it is constantly being updated their support is fantastic it is very reasonably reasonably priced I highly recommend if you have invested all of this money in your embroidery machine and your supplies and your time into this craft it really is worthwhile for you to invest in a good embroidery editing software. And if you do, I recommend Embrilliance. Um, I would like to say that I am an affiliate and that means that if you click on our affiliate link, which will be um, in the description of this video or anytime we link to it, we do um, get rewarded. A small um, portion of your purchase will um, come to us from recommending you. So I just wanted to let you know that we are an Embrilliance affiliate. And um, the reason I became an affiliate is because I really love this program, not just to get a kickback. So here we go. So you want to get straight to using um, the free version of Embrilliance Express. You first need to come to the website and go up here at the top in the navigation bar where it says downloads and click on that. When you get um, to the downloads page, the um, first thing you will see is the Embrilliance platform. This is where you wanna go for downloading the essentials. So for Windows, um, for Mac, you would download the Embrilliance for Mac, obviously here, and for Windows, um, you're gonna download um, the new, whatever version they have there. Now, um, so, I just download the zip file, unzip it, install your program like you would for any other program. So that said, um, I have already, I changed my cursor here, sorry. <laughs> I have already um, downloaded and installed it onto my computer. So I'm gonna show you my desktop. And right here I have in Brilliance. So once you've installed it onto your computer, you wanna go to your icon and just double click it and you're going to get a box that pops up asking you for your serial number. Now, if you had purchased in Brilliance, you would receive an email that has your serial number, and this is the box where you would paste your serial number and set. But to run this in the advertised express mode, which is free, um, just click done. Now you're going to get a pop-up. The program um, interface has opened up and you're going to get a pop-up that says missing serial number. The program is running in express mode. It will save licensed designs and fonts. However, most of the program features will not be available. So you can click OK. What that box means is you can type your fonts or a name or a monogram, anything in BX format you may type and save. However, you cannot import, say, an applique design, customize it with a name, merge designs, and then save it. It won't work in the free mode. That's an important um, note. So let's type, let's try this, um, just typing in a brilliance of font. I have some already installed. So I'm gonna go up to this letter A at the top of the screen, and that will activate my properties box for the letters. I'm going to go over what on earth is pop. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. I'm using a free cursor um, thing and I keep getting this little box pop up and that's annoying. Um, so I'm going to go over to my box here on the right and do the, the, uh, the drop down. And I would like to use the, um, I have a Whimsy Curls font and I will use the one inch version. Okay, this font is available on our website if you're interested. Um, I am going to select my ABC there and I'm going to type my name. And now I've got my name here and I'm going to set. So here is um, the font typed out in um, using the BX font. Now, if I want to save it for my brother machine, I will save a stitch file. I'm going to say save it as, and I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to name it Julie. And I'm going to click save. So that I can do. And if it was a monogram that was saved as a BX format, you can save that. So we're going to go down. Um, it's going to go to my desktop and show you that here I have um, my file. And I'll just show you that I saved it in the um, PES Julie PES file. Okay. So you can save that. However, let's go back and let's try to um, merge um, some BX fonts with an applique design. So I'm just going to create a new file and I am going to I'm sorry, I'm going to open a file and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And I have some, I'm going to open up, say a PES applique only, and I'll open a five by seven, um, box design. This was a, um, our little Valentine peekers and they're awfully cute. Uh, DBJJ 720. So for this, if I uh, wanted to um, put my name, say over here on the right hand side, or I'll put, um, I'm going to have a granddaughter. So let's, uh, she's coming in March. Let me go to add a name. So I'm going to go up to the letter A at the top. Okay. And I'm going to come over here to my box and I'm going to type Lucy because her name's going to be Lucy. And, um, I'm, oops, I am going to drag just the name Lucy over here. And just ever so slightly increased it. Try to select the right size that you need. Um, for the purposes of this video, I am just going to like put the name at the top. I really would like to do it up and down, but that will be for another video. So, um, okay. So now you see, um, you have up here in the objects, you've got your entire, um, applique design that we have brought in. And then we've got the name Lucy and you can see that here in your objects property box. So say we wanted to save, say I wanted to put her name and include the design. Let's try now to save a stitch file. The design page contains elements that are not licensed for saving. They may be demo designs. That just means that you're, li you're limited using the express mode. You are really just limited to using the BX um, files that you purchased. So I just wanted you to see the difference. If I was to get rid of this whole design and I just wanted to save the name Lucy, I could save it um, 
into this onto my desktop. I could save just the, the name. Do you see the difference? So express mode is fantastic and it's really wonderful of the manufacturer of this software to provide you with a free version. Um, if you want unlimited options and I mean unlimited options, it's, it's just fantastic. Um, then you would need to purchase in brilliance essentials. I hope that you found this video helpful and I will be including more on how to use, um, the wonderful features of Brilliance. Thank you so much for watching.